Did this change the way you think about law enforcement? Oh yeah. In what ways? It's gotten a lot harder to believe in the police. Hey guys, Jason with Minnesota News Now out here at the Aiken County Courthouse where I had some issues the day before with accessing the law library and just wanting to actually film how they tied in the new courthouse. Here you can see on the sign, County Attorney's Office, Public, and Law Library, and the County Attorney's Office is also the victim rights area to go. So please stay tuned for the video. Not too bad. Where's the law library? On the third floor. On this side. And still no phones, no nothing past this point. How can I help you with today? Uh, how do I access the law library? The law library. Yeah, it's third floor on the administration side, right? On the court side? On this side, I believe. Yep, so I have to go through the checkpoint. But because I have dyslexia, I use my phone, so basically I look through the books, right? And then... I use my phone to take a picture and then it reads it to me. So how do I do that without... That's a good question. Let me ask. Just a minute. Okay. Okay. I couldn't call into the undersheriff. She's in a meeting. Just a minute. Okay. 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 Okay
I, I thought he was going to get me a list of all the books, I guess, that's in the law library, but then he asked me if I have internet, and I'm not quite sure what... Okay, I can ask him. Yeah, just, it, yeah, if he's coming back out, then I'll wait. Everything's online. There's the address, there's the phone number there. Okay, do you guys have a computer that I can use here? We don't. Up on the second floor, any, so there's no way, so I, where can I access a computer to act? Not what? Right, but they would tell me I can access your law library then, right? No, they won't. They'll tell you it's all available online. Right, but I, I need to sit down and have the books. Wow, you're the sheriff. Wow, okay. So, yeah, that was the sheriff and how he treats someone with a disability. And, yes, I do have dyslexia. And up next, you're going to see how they treat people in mistaken identities. Camera recording started. Caught in a chaotic scene. Let me see your hands, driver! The victim of mistaken identity. We hadn't done anything wrong. Keep coming, take two steps to your left. A family, now with the center of a growing controversy... Put your hands on top of your head. Involving one of the only witnesses. Well, if something's going to make them look bad, oh, that's some, better turn it off now, right? On the way to their cabin near Lake Mille Lacs last summer, Terry and Nancy Nielsen drove slowly along this stretch of two-lane highway. Dash camera video shows officers wave the Nielsen's red Tesla Model 3 through a hectic police scene. Right before they throw spike strips across the highway to stop a suspect of a high-speed chase. Got it. And then all of a sudden, within what, five seconds, you start seeing flashing lights. And so we do what we're supposed to do, pull over, right? Watch closely. As the Nielsen's pull to the side, the suspect's car speeds past. I can still see the car. Um, we just saw it go by, and then all of a sudden we're being screamed at, guns everywhere, pointing at our car. Let me see your hands! Pop your passenger door. And just, it was just crazy. Just back up. Back up. You have any guns or anything like that on you? Police body-worn cameras are rolling as sheriff's deputies remove their two teenagers from the car. Okay, relax. Okay, come on back. And Terry and Nancy are handcuffed and separated. Where's my husband? He's in my squad car. May I ask what we're being charged with? Flee. What? Well, I've been behind you for probably 15 miles with the lights and siren on. What? There was a car that just raced past <laughs> us that was red. Come here. I said it over and over, at least five times, and I, I actually said we can prove it. Yeah, and you're sure it wasn't the red car? Can you have a seat? Are you sure it wasn't the red car that just went, went nope. past us? But I was behind you for almost 15 miles, and I had you at speeds of 115. There was no way I was going 115. <laughs> okay. Well, right now you're going to be placed under arrest or fleeing a police officer in a motor vehicle. Okay? That's crazy. That was not me. I'm sorry. I think you are very confused about who you pulled over. No. Because I would not go that fast with my family yeah. in the car. Some of those other police officers there had to have said, been thinking at least, and maybe even said to some of the others, this isn't right. But the Nielsen's okay, don't know if that happened, because soon after okay. they started questioning the stop. I'm really very mystified. Every officer on the scene who had a body-worn camera that was recording. Are you still on? I turned mine off. Heard. Either turned it off or cut the mic. Like, what were they talking about? We really don't know. It's lost forever. And according to their policies, those officers were allowed to do it. How it could take 50 minutes for them to finally decide that, well, maybe they got the wrong person is just crazy. The Nielsen family is now suing the officers in federal court. We've just been driving, taking pictures of the sunset. Officer Thurber's microphone only turns back on after a state trooper shows him dash camera video, proving he stopped the wrong car. Okay. As of right now, you're not being arrested. Thank you. Okay. I apologize for this. 100%. He lets the Nielsen's go. Sir, I feel really bad for this. Offering the couple a short apology, a quick handshake, and no explanation. It just dropped just like that. And then all of a sudden, we're in the car. And well, I was just shaking like crazy. I mean, I could barely drive. It was just appalling, really, is what it boils down to. Did this change the way you think about law enforcement? Oh, yeah. In what ways? 
it's gotten a lot harder to believe in the police. Why did they get to have a private conversation and we have no idea what was discussed? All right, guys. Well, the back of the car says it all to serve with dignity and respect. You tell me what you think from this video. And like always, you have the right to redress your government. I will tell you that the city of Aiken Police Department is the complete opposite of this. They're great to work with, great reviews from the citizens of their city, and there's also a lot of history with that agency that extends way past before the uh, Sheriff's Department was even around in Aiken County, which I find is unreal, and I'd love to do a story on that, but this had to come out, so please let me know in your comments what you think and uh contact information for the sheriff's department will be in the description jason with minnesota news now out